I did not know this. Beanie, uh, a name given to you by your nanny, is that correct? Yes. How did it come about? I had a nanny when I was young. My mom was working, and my given name is Elizabeth. And she called me Elizabeanie, because that's a popular British nickname. Oh, okay. And my brothers are much older, and they're like, let's just call her Beanie. That's so funny. And it totally stuck. Wow. Yeah. So you had no decision in this at all? No, but everyone was like, at 10, you'll want to be Elizabeth. At 16, they, everyone had a different age. They're like, you're going to outgrow it. And I was like, no, I love it. Oh, good. Well, that <laughs> yeah. works out good. So um, your brother is Jonah Hill. Yes. And he has been here before and talked about your mother uh, being a very uh, funny character, yes. uh, a wonderful mother as well. But you yeah. stayed with her recently. She made you stay with her while you were shooting this film. Yes. Um, Sharon, Shay, as we call her. Okay, She's good. the, the best. Nanny, did the nanny give her Shay? <laughs> no, I okay, did. Okay. Um, <laughs> She's truly the best woman on planet Earth, but she's a character. And I was basically told the day I stay in a hotel over staying with her would be like the worst day of her life. Okay, gotcha. Um, so when we were filming Lady Bird, I was staying with my parents. And I came home one day and she was gushrying, which is Yiddish for like screaming her <laughs> face off. Okay, gotcha. Um, turning purple, like, and I hear it and I'm like running into her office and she's like screaming on the phone. She's like, I am my dog's advocate, okay? She's, I'm like, what's going on? I realize she's talking to the vet. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, my dog can't speak English. My dog can't tell you when he's upset, so I speak for him. She's screaming. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? She hangs up. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, oh, I'm mad at the vet. And just like walks out of the room. I'm like, what? The next day, my parents get a registered letter which is like one step under getting served, yeah. right? Like it's basically getting served. In this day, if you're if it's too much for an email, that's a huge deal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You have to sign for it. Okay. Yeah. So they get a registered letter to our house that says, uh, in not so many words, that my parents are never welcome at the vet. Never ever welcome. again. And we have a letter, and this is my favorite thing because it's so clear, like <laughs> from the vet. Because the end it says. If your next veterinarian has any questions regarding Brewski, Brewski's care, <laughs> please have him heard. You have made it impossible for the doctors and staff here to communicate with you. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> I mean, also, like, I have to assume the vet doesn't know how to do that. I feel like they talk, they're like, what should we do? And they're like, I think there's a thing, like, in the legal profession where you send a registered letter. Exactly. <laughs> I think we're able to do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, that's really, <laughs> oh really great. God. So this, uh, tell us like about the part you play because you are uh, you are a student in a Catholic school, as yes. we tell from the clip. Yes. Uh, did you have any background in that? Certainly not. Yeah. Feldstein, quite <laughs> no, Jewish. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. And just crying didn't seem yeah. like something that you heard a lot in uh, Catholic exactly. schools. Yeah. And it was amazing because I learned so much. Um, Sersha, she's not American, but she's Catholic, or she was raised Catholic. And um, so she was teaching me the Hail Mary, and I was teaching her the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, perfect. Because we had, like, all of these class <laughs> classroom scenes where we had to do both of those things. And I was like, okay, I pledge allegiance. And she was like, Hail Mary, full of grace. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> sort of feeding each other lines back and forth. Yeah. And what drew you to the part you play in this? I love this movie so much. Greta Gerwig is a genius. She's wonderful. And she wrote the most amazing script. And it said, when I got the script, it said, Julie, 17, chubby, gets the lead in her high school musical. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> 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 Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just felt like such a perfect fit. And the story of a young girl, we just don't have enough of these complicated female roles and female movies, and specifically Julie just like felt like a very good fit for me. So you're on Broadway right now, you're doing Hello Dolly with yes. Bette Midler. You also, you went to theater camp, you knew you wanted to do this for a long time. Yes. Uh, what's it called, Stage Door? Stage Door Manor. Stage Door Manor, yeah. and you, is that where you meet Ben Platt? That's not where I met Ben Platt. Okay, gotcha. Ben and I have been best friends. Uh, we met at a bat mitzvah, Okay, actually. gotcha. A, a, of course. A Catholic bat mitzvah? Ex? Yeah, okay, of course. Gotcha. I was wearing my uniform that I wear in the film. Okay, gotcha. Um, it would be really funny to do a Catholic-themed bat mitzvah. I'm in. I'm so in. Yeah. Um, no, of course, Ben and I both had, like, theater-themed bar mitzvahs. Gotcha. Mitzvahs. Um, but we met at a bat mitzvah, and this was before cell phones, so we didn't have any way to, like, stay in touch. He joined my school in ninth grade, and we instantly became best friends. And sort of the way that, like, he knew we were best friends was like the second week of school, he got his braces off and he texted me like I got my braces off and I left my class to come see his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I'm <laughs> such a goody goody and I love school. So he was like, you, you, I must mean a lot to you because oh <laughs> you love to see my what team. What did the teacher say when you just got up and left? I mean, I think I was like, I have to pee or something. <laughs> yeah. I played it off, Seth. Okay, Obviously, gotcha, I played good. it off. Good, because you're so successful now. I can't believe you just would have burned down no. high school for uh, to see a pair of teeth. Um, well, thank you so much for being here. Congrats oh on the gosh, film. Oh, my gosh, I'm so honored, truly. It's a pleasure to have you.